Hello everyone, welcome to part 4 of the Node.js with MySQL tutorials. So in the last video, we had created a simple Node app and we had run the Node app in our browser using a simple Node server that we had created using Ex Express app. Uh, in this video, we are going to connect our Node app to the MySQL database. So if you have not set up the MySQL server in your computer, then you should go and watch part 2 of this series where I had taught you guys to uh, download and install XAMPP and set up the database server. So in this part of the video, we are going to learn the uh, methods of the MySQL package that is create connection, connect and query methods using which we are going to manipulate the connect and manipulate the our database server. Okay, so we are directly picking up from the uh, place where we had left in the last video. So if you have not watched the last video, then I recommend you guys to go back and watch that video so, th so that you can follow along with me. Okay, so in the last video, we created our created and run our web server and we had a working node app. Now, in this video, we are going to create an instance of a MySQL database using create connection. Okay, so I'm going to create a variable named as db you can give any name here and so mysql is the object that hold the all the package information provided by mysql package and the create connection is the method that is provided by mysql package in which we can pass the information of our database server so the first thing we need to pass is host name that is the host name of the our database in my case that is localhost the second information we need to pass is username of our database management system in my case that is root and the third thing I need to pass here is password of the database that is blank and the fourth parameter I need to pass is port number of the MySQL server so if you are using default mysql port number then you don't need to change it otherwise if you have followed my mysql setup video and you change that that port number in that video then you need to give that port number here so in my case i'm using the default port number here so i'm giving 3306 if you have used other port number then you can give that port number here and the last thing we are going to give here is database name but we still have not created any database in our database management system so i'm not going to give anything here now to connect the to data to connect to the database server we need to uh, use connect method so db is a variable name db.connect now we need so the db.connect function return a callback function that is error so if any error occur while if any error occur while connecting to the database server then the, that error information will be stored in the error variable so here I'm checking if any error occurs then I'm going to throw the errors otherwise I'm going to print the message that says console.log database connected okay let's check our database here okay I'm getting this error refused connection error so this is I'm getting this error because I have not started my exam server so let's go ahead and run our exam control panel and run our server Okay, start Apache and MySQL. Okay, if you guys don't know the port number of the your MySQL server, then you can check here. So when you start the MySQL server, it will show the uh, port number here. Okay, so 3306 is the my port number. You can give that port number here in port field. Okay, now let's go and check if it is working or not. Let's restart our normal okay as you can see here your database you started the port your database is connected 
okay the message i'm getting is database connected let's go and create a database okay so to be able to create a database i'm going to create a route okay so whenever we visit a uh, url like db or something then it will show the message database is created if any database is created okay and it will going to actually create the database in the database server that is in our PHP my okay let's go ahead and create a simple route app.get the URL is slash create DB and it will going to return a callback function which can take two parameter that is request and response whenever this URL is visited we are going to uh, query a database and we are going to create a new database okay so that is let let us create a query that create a database create database test node okay so whenever we need to perform a query to the mysql server we are going to use the method provided by a mysql package that is called as query so the query take one parameter that, that is a sql query and it will give the callback function to return the callback function which return error or results or fails okay so any error occur while uh, create, uh, performing this query then the error field will contains all the all kind of messages error messages okay so we are checking if error occurs we are going to throw the error otherwise we are going to display a message that says new database is created As you can see here, there is no database called as test node. Okay, so let's go ahead and execute this, uh, visit this URL again and see if the database is created or not. Okay, we are getting this message called the new database is created. Now let's go ahead and refresh our PHMI admin here and we can see the test node database is created. The only database is created, it, the database do not contain any table. Okay. So we can also create the table using uh, node of node app. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a sample database table. Okay, so whenever we visit the create table URL, I'm going to perform a database query that create a database table okay so let's create a query first create table sample I hope that you guys know you guys are uh, aware of this uh, MySQL queries if not then you can learn more about it in the tutorials video there there are so many videos available where you can learn about these things okay so i'm going to create an id which is of type integer and which is our primary key second thing i'm going to give is name which is of a type varchar and of length is 20 and third thing i'm going to give is form which is also a varchar and having length of 10 okay so now i'm going to query this 
query to the database so db dot query i'm going to pass this sql query and i'm going to give a callback function which will return an error if an error occur so i'm going to catch this error if any error occur through the error otherwise display the message new table is created Okay, let's go ahead and run this uh, uh, URL and see if the database is created or not. Okay, so I'm getting an error. Okay, no database is selected. So we had created a database, but we have not selected any database. Okay, so that we need to give this database name here that we just created that is what was the database name we created a database name as test node okay so we need to select the database here now we need to give the database name in this database field in the create connection method then only we will be able to create a table inside that test node database okay so i forgot to select that database here okay now let's go ahead and run this uh, url again visit this url again as you can see here the new table is created now let's go ahead in our database and check if the database is really created or not yes now you can see the database is created here okay so that's it for this video so in this video we learn about the create connection to create the mysql connection and we also learn about connect method using which we can actually initialize the connection of the data connection to the database and the query method using which we can perform the queries okay so in the next video we are going to learn more about this uh, mysql co uh, queries and we are also going to learn about uh, model that exports exports as well as we are also going to create a separate file for our database information so that we can include the, the, the database file whenever we require whenever we require to connect to the mysql database